Hey, it's Mr. Black, and I have a French horn today. Woohoo! Horn from France. Not really from France. Anyways, I'm excited because today we're going to review our first three notes in our lesson. This is lesson number four. And because it's lesson number four, we're also going to learn our fourth note today. In addition to learning these notes, we're going to kind of take a look at how to read them too. So without further ado, let's get warmed up. Let's start with our mouthpiece. Can you make this sound? Remember, two-thirds of our upper lip, one-third of our lower lip is where we want this mouthpiece to be. So a little bit more of your upper lip in it than your lower. So you can make this sound. Ready, go. If you went too high, your lips are too close together. If you went too low, you're not bringing your lips close enough together. It's a pretty sweet spot, basically, to make a good sound. So see if you can make the sound again. Ready? Your turn. I love the way that you're probably not taking a breath in between each note like this. Nope, you're using one breath and pushing that air out. Fantastic, my friends. Let's put that back together with the horn here. And we're gonna start on note number one, which is F. We know that our thumb is the trigger. Now, keep in mind, we don't want our horn to be here. We don't want our horn to be here. We want it to be right about here. So our hand's in our bell, kind of about this shape in our bell. The bell's resting a little bit on our lap, and we want to make this sound. Just my thumb is down. See if you can match my sound. Ready? One, two, ready. Nice. Okay, see if you can give me four Fs. Ready? One, two. Ready. Nice, okay? So F is note number one. We know that G is note number two. No buttons down, no trigger down, none of that. We're gonna make this sound. See if you can match that pitch. Ready and go. Let's give them four. Ready and go. Nice. So, if you need to, take a break and go back and rewind those two notes so that we can make sure we're playing those notes correctly. But let's move on to note number three now. Note number three, trigger comes back down and first two fingers is our A. It sounds like this. Can you play that note together? Ready and go. Can you give me four of them? Ready and go. Nice. Let's play an F. We'll take a pause. A G. We'll take a pause, and an A, and then we'll take a pause. Let's start with that. Ready? Note number one. One, two, ready. Take a pause. Here comes G. Note number two, no buttons down. Here comes note number three. Trigger and first two fingers down. Ready? And hey, nice work. So you just nailed your first three notes on the horn. We know that there's a fourth note, though, and we need to talk about that. Fourth note is going to be your trigger and your first finger down, and this is gonna be called B flat, or Bob, so good luck. Congratulations, you just got a Bob as well. See if you can match my Bob sound or B flat note. It sounds like this. I have to push the air really fast to get a higher sound on the horn. Let's do that again. See if you can play B flat, then A, then G, then F. Let's do it, ready? And high note, ready? Rest, now A. Rest, now G. Rest, now F. Now, in order to start on all those notes, I almost always have to start finding my F correct first. That will always be your center. All right, so we learned note number four. We know the first four notes, F, G, A, B flat. I'm excited. Let's take a look at what I like to call arts and crafts time now, horn players. All right, so uh, check it out. I got a whiteboard. This is cool. Look, smiley face. Woo, we're excited. Okay, so we're going to talk today about what we talked about way back in the first part of band. Remember when we played that crazy game that people were running all around with? Yeah, probably not safe, but it's fine. Here's line one. Here's line two. Here's line three. Here's line four. And here's line five. We call this the staff. Look at my terrible handwriting. Anyways, here is the staff. We know two sayings. We know elephants got big, dirty feet. We also know that that stands for E, G, B, D, F. We have five lines, one, two, three, four, five, and that's how it works. We also know the other word, which is face, F, A, C, 
E, and we know that those stand for each space, F, A, C, E. Now, because we play the horn from France, we're gonna always use this clef called the treble clef. Not treble, but treble. That's our treble clef, and we're gonna talk about how to read these notes. Let's start with note number one on the horn. What was that? Oh yeah, you said it right. It's F. F on the horn is note number one. Easy to remember, because French horn. It's not from France, but it's from France. We're gonna put it in the first space because we know that F is the first space. So this is actually what note number one looks like on the, the staff and the clef. Sorry, my brain's fried. Uh, and that's what it's gonna look like when we read music on the horn. So let's check out the next note. We know note number two on the horn is G. So we're gonna write that down and we're gonna call this note number two. And let's figure out where G is. Well, G, that's, huh, see what I did there? Uh, it's actually the second line, E, G. So G is gonna be right here on the second line. Stems are always gonna go on the right hand when they're going up and on the left hand when they're going down. We'll talk more about that later. I'm not too worried about that. Talk about note number three, trigger and first two fingers is A. So there is A, note number three. And A is gonna be on the second space, as you can see right there, A. And let's talk about our fourth note that we just talked about today. B flat, also known as Bob, because why not? Note number four, where do you think that would be? Let's see here. Well, let's see if it's on a line or a space. Looks like only my lines have a choice of B, so we're gonna go to the line and we're gonna say it's the third one, and this is where the stem's gonna change what direction here. So we're gonna put it on the left-hand side and we're gonna put a little flat sign, looks like a little B next to it. So here you go, French horns. You've got F, G, A, and B flat, and that's where all of these notes are on our staff. Now let's play a little game and see if you can figure out what note order is next. Whoa, we're falling. Okay, are we fixed? We're fixed. I think we're fixed. Here we go. All right, I'm going to sing you a song here. And while I sing you the song, I want you to figure out what notes we have in front of us. See if you can figure out the order. Here we go. Da, 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 da. I know, my singing voice is just not the best. This is why I'm a band teacher. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, do you know what these notes are? Let's take a look at them, shall we? What's that first note? Well, let's see, is it on a line or space? It's on a line, and it looks like it's on the B line. It's probably B flat, and you know what? It is, that is note number four for the horn. Let's go to the next note here. What note is that? Well, line or space? It's on a line. It's on the G line. That's gonna be G, also known as note number two for the horn. Let's go to the next note. Line or space, friends? Yep, you got it. It's on a space. It's on the second space. That means it's an A. That's a terrible A. Why am I drawing a circle around it? I don't actually know. This is going to be note number three, as you know, on horn. And last but certainly not least, let's go to our last note. Line or space? It's on a space. And we know that this is home base. This is F note number one. If you did that, congratulations. You absolutely rocked today's... Uh, challenge, I guess. The real challenge for you to get a Rancher of the Jolly is this. See if you can figure out where each note would go if you were going to write down how to play hot cross buns. What notes do you use and see if you can draw them on a staff. If you can do that, take a picture and email it to me and I will take it and you might win the reward of a Rancher of the Jolly that shows up randomly at your house. I know, weird. It's fine. Guys, that was a fantastic lesson. I can't wait to see you in lesson number five. Take what I showed you today and practice it. You rock. See you next week. Bye.